Hello and welcome to another episode of Fun Maths with Alex. I am Alex. Uh, I'm here on behalf of Nonstop Kids Entertainment, uh, here for Nonstop Kids TV. And today I thought I would talk to you uh, again, sort of about shapes, um, but not really about shapes. Uh, it's something in maths called the Fold and Cut Theorem. Uh, and basically what that says is that you can take any shape made up of straight lines, you can take a piece of paper, you can take some scissors, and you can fold this piece of paper up in lots of different ways, and you can cut it once, and you can get any shape that you want out of it. I'm going to show you a little bit of what you can do with it. I'm going to show you how to work out how to make your own shapes, as well as how to do some of the ones that I do here. So we've got loads and loads of paper. Uh, and we've got some scissors and we're just going to get right into some folding. So first of all, if you want to make a square, that is the easiest one that you can make. And you can think about how this works, okay? So if we take a piece of paper like this, and we imagine that we want to cut a square out of here. Now, the, the, the way to normally get a square hole is to sort of bodge your scissors through and to cut up and around like that. So let's draw a square one here, actually. Let's draw a quick square here. And we want to cut this section out here. Now, the way that a lot of you would do this uh, is you would take some scissors and you'd bodge them through there and you'd cut up and around there. However, if you take this paper and you fold it in half, like this, you can now do it in three cuts. You can cut down here, along here, and up here. But there's an easier way of doing it. You see, if you fold it in half again, you can cut along here and along here, and that's two cuts. But there's a way to do it in one cut. If you fold it along the diagonal like this, you line all of the lines up. You can make one cut by uh, and cut off the corner here like this. That's one cut, and there we have a square. But also the whole of the square in the paper. So that is the quickest and most efficient way to cut out a square. Squares are a little bit of a boring shape that you can make. You can actually make any shape at all that uses just straight lines, even if it's got holes in the middle. I'm going to show you other things that you can do and then show you how to do a few and then how to work out how to make your own. Here we have a piece of paper. This time we're going to fold it in half like this. And I'll show you this how to do this in just a moment. We're going to fold it in half like that. We're going to bring this corner down to the middle. Like that. Roll this one up. We're going to turn this and roll that here. And if we cut at an angle like that, we should hopefully have here. Boom. A star that is one five pointed star and one five pointed star shaped hole uh, in the paper. I'll just lay that flat. Now, I'll teach you how to fold to make this. Uh, and then uh, I saw on uh, YouTube, if you look for a guy called Matt Parker doing this and number file, they do this a lot. They've, they've done a few videos on this if you want a little bit more information. Uh, he teaches you how to make a bat, and I'm going to teach you how to make a bat in just a minute. Uh, but first, I'm going to teach you how to make a star, because that's sort of like the most basic one. Uh, and then I'm going to teach you how to make uh, this bat, and then how to come up with your own designs. So, to make the star, you're going to take the paper, and you're going to uh, lie it, landscape, and fold it as if you're closing a book. And you're going to make that quite a nice fold. And the better you can do this fold, the better the star is going to look at the end. Then what you're going to need to do is bring this corner here that you've just folded down to the middle. Now the easiest way to find the middle is to fold it in half like a book again. Like this. Just needs to be a, a, a big fold and unfold it. And then you've just folded it like a book. This corner that you just folded comes down right to the bottom of the paper to the middle where that fold is and then you fold along here like that so that it stays flat and stays in the middle of the paper 
and then what you're just going to do is wrap it around itself so you've now got a bit of paper uh, you've got a line uh, see if you can highlight this with the pen here you've got like uh, here you'll have like a line in the paper I'll show you this if, we, if we do this you can see that this is where the paper has folded so you're going to fold it this bit over the line that those two bits join on so you get a nice sharp point at the top just there you're then going to turn it over and you're going to fold this long edge here across to this shorter edge here this nice long edge here goes over to that short edge there and you're going to fold like that and that is all the folding now what you're going to do you're going to put this so the big arrow points away from you and you're going to cut at an angle from about halfway up this edge to about halfway up that smaller edge you can just see poking out along here and you're going to cut at an angle like that now the steeper you make that angle the more pointy the stars so if i put if i cut along here like this the star is going to be quite flat in fact i'll just show you like this now if i cut along here like that and when i open the star up the star is quite flat it looks almost like a pentagon there we go and if you cut a bit more steeply i'll cut along the line this time there it makes the star more star shaped like that basically what you've done here is you've just cut the excess off from the edges there so that's how you fold and cut a star and that's quite a simple shape i've shown you two quite simple shapes uh now what you can do is you can take some paper like this I'm just going to fold it. I'll teach you how to do this fold a little bit later on. Now, this is not my design. This is one that uh, was come up with by a guy called Matt Parker. So we have our paper. We're going to fold it like this. Now, I'm going to teach you how to do this in just a moment. But first, there we go. I'm just going to show you what it makes. Because I think this is quite cool. It's significantly more complicated. But... I personally think it is worth it. So that goes there, that goes there. Turn it over, this bit goes here. Like that. And this bit comes under here. And then if you cut up here like this, we're going to get what looks like, in my opinion anyway, boom, a bat. There we go. It's a, okay, it's not got like the little zigzaggy things here, but that is uh, possibly a bat that you could do for Halloween. Uh, and if you open this up, you'll find that you have the negative of that bat, like the... Uh, opposite of what this bat looks like now to do this one what we're going to do we're going to take some paper again we're going to fold it in half like this so this is the edge here that we've just folded you're then going to take that folded edge and point it towards you and then we're going to fold up along this corner here now this is going to make the ears so the way the, the amount that you fold this by is going to make a difference to the shape of the ears. So let's put that like this, I think. You're then going to turn it over. So here's the bit that's folded. This is the bit you've just folded here. And you're going to fold it sort of parallel about a centimetre down here like that. So a little bit looped over the top there you've got that folded down here now what you're going to do is you're going to imagine you've got like a ruler here and you're going to fold it there we go so you've just made this fold here 
this fold here. We're going to take the corner of that fold here and we're going to take the corner of the paper here and you're going to take the ruler and imagine that there is a nice long straight line along here between the corner of the fold that you've just made here and the corner of the paper over here and you're going to fold it along that line in fact if you've got a ruler there you can just fold it along that line you can put that there you can put that there and you can fold it up over the ruler like that you don't have to so now you should have like a weird diamondy shape and you're going to turn it over so that all you can see is this little flap here of your folds then what you're going to do is you're going to imagine that you've got sort of like the shorter corner here and the longer corner here pointing towards you you're going to fold the shorter corner back over towards you like this there we go and now we have uh, sort of like a, a big triangle here and we have a little triangle here now we're going to take the little triangle and we've got the corner here that has got all the folds on it at the moment uh, and we've got the corner here that has no folds on it I'm going to take this corner that's got no folds on it and fold it underneath everything like this so that hopefully it pops out the other side like that and flatten it there now the cut you'll see in your little folds here there's sort of like a little triangle shape made in the folds there the cut that you're going to make is the same angle as this side here but it starts just here okay so that is basically uh, da, 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 there's where it starts that angle there matches the side so you're going to cut just along oops just along there like that you're just going to cut all the way through uh, and it's going to look something like this cut 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 and then when you unfold this here we have our bat and when we unfold oops, this here we have a negative of our bat just here like this so that is our bat and our bat negative as well i personally think that is uh, absolutely amazing uh, i'm going to very quickly now show you how to work out how to make your own folds so let's say we want to make something symmetric because that's the easiest way to do it and it's basically the same thing if you want to make something that's not symmetric the best way to do it is to fold some paper in half the paper we've folded it in half like this right now let's say we want to make uh i don't know uh another uh, let's say we want to make a slightly different shape of bat so we're going to draw our ears like this let's have some nice big pointy ears like that we're going to have our wing coming out here uh like this uh, and let's go down here and across here like that so it's a very simple shape of bat uh, but this is going to be uh, our different shape of, of bat here now what the idea is is you're going to try and fold all of these lines so that they lie on top of each other so for instance this ear here if you fold it along this diagonal this line here I bring the camera over the top here this line here you should be able to imagine that if you fold it like that this line will lie on top of that line I'll show you what I mean if I turn this over and fold it like that you can imagine that those two lines are on top of each other and then if you want uh, again you can imagine if you fold it along here like this that line will then lie along 
the top of the wing like that. So you've now basically taken your bat ear and you've folded it along, let's see if I can, here. You've taken your bat ear and you've folded it so that it lies along that line here. Then at the bottom, we want to fold this line along here, so we're going to fold this line up and over and then we're going to fold this line uh, let me just work this out like hang on a second so that needs to be a slightly less angled fold in fact actually we can even fold that under like this I think and yes that would line that up and then if we fold that over here, you'll see it line up again like that. So now we need to line this line up over this line. And the way to do that is to fold it along like this. And that line there is the line that we're going to want to cut along like this. because I'm not a very good drawer, this isn't going to line up perfectly, but there we go. That is then your slightly new different shape of bat that we originally designed. Uh, you can see our original lines here, so I was a little bit off with the cutting and a little bit off with the folding, but you get the idea of how to make and design your own shapes for folding. Uh, I really do hope you have a lot of fun with that. I've had a lot of fun trying to work out how to make things like the letters for my name. You can make the letters for your name. Um, start with the easy ones like uh, T or H, they're very easy. Uh, and then you can work on to things like E or A or M or whatever. Uh, they're a little bit more difficult. Um, if you think about how if you think about how symmetric the letters are, so like if you put like a mirror in, how easy they are to fold over each other, that will work out which letters are easier. You can make your letters for your name. You could make shapes. You can make animals as long as it's made up of straight lines, uh, and you've got the time and the patience. You can work out how to fold that paper so that all of the lines lie over each other, and then you can make one cut, and you can cut out any shape made up of straight lines. Uh, that is a fold and cut theme, and that is something that I thought was really cool. Uh, I have been Alex Foden for Nonstop Kids Television. Uh, we are posting so much stuff on our YouTube channel, um, and it is uh, easy to get to through our Facebook page or YouTube. Please like, subscribe, uh, so you get notified whenever we do post anything. We have got dances, we've got magic, we've got magic lessons, we've got teaching you how to solve Rubik's Cube, we've got Makaton lessons. We've got singing, we've got pub quizzes, we've got uh, me doing maths and science. We have got so, uh, uh, even much more. We've got stories, we've got yoga, we've got uh, wake-up exercise sessions with Leighton and uh, all the other people there. We've got dance sessions. We have got so much stuff going on. Uh, please do like, subscribe, uh, use all of the stuff that we're sending out because it is absolutely fantastic. I know if I was a child, uh, I would love watching. In fact, I'm an adult and I love watching all of it. Um, Thank you very much for your time. I've been Alex Foden. Uh, this has been Nonstop Kids TV. Thank you.